Slavas, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're outside of Chalet, Lithuania, here at the Hill of Crosses, and yes, there are literally are hundreds of thousands of crosses behind me. Shockingly, lots of crosses. And today what we have for you are the 10 things that are gonna shock you about visiting Lithuania. And I'm not even talking about all the crosses behind me, but I wanna show more of Lithuania, so we're gonna do this in different places around the country. So here we are with our 10 shocks of visiting Lithuania. So we're here in Trakai, outside the Trakai castle, obviously, to start with the first thing that's gonna shock you when you come to Lithuania, and it's gonna start with pink soup. Yes, the food sometimes can be a bit shocking for tourists when they come here, especially in the summertime when shalti borshi, which is cold borscht, is a popular soup. And it really looks like a bowl of Pepto-Bismol with stuff sprinkled in it. It looks horrible, but it tastes like heaven. I was actually scared to try it for like a year when I lived here before I tried it. Then I couldn't stop myself. It was great. But they have all these kind of funny little things. You're like, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Why is there griatina? Why is there sour cream everywhere here? And that kind of shocks tourists. Are these foods things here? The zeppeline, which can be from this size to this size, which is like potato mush. I don't know how you explain it. Like it's like a potato dumpling with a meatball inside with, of course, the griatina, the sour cream. and bacon on top, little bacon bits on top. Oh, it's so good. And you have all these fun foods that are here. And the thing is, Jocelyn said her biggest shock when she came here was the food. She wasn't expecting much, and she's fallen in love with the food here, from the fried brown bread to the to the zeppeline, to the coldune, the little raviolis. There's a lot of fun food here that you're really gonna like. So do eat up, and don't be shocked if you really fall in love with the food here. The second thing that might shock you is how superstitious the Lithuanians are. Now, you might not know this, but Lithuania was one of the last pagan hangouts in Europe, like one of the last places to be Christianized. And that kind of superstitious pagan nature still shows up sometimes. And don't be surprised if you're hanging out with Lithuanians and they do some kind of slightly superstitious things. Like, for example, if they leave their house and they forget something, they have to go back, they want to make sure they look in a mirror before they leave again. And make sure, you know, if you're, you have to hand someone a knife or a pair of scissors, don't hand it to them. Put it on the table right there and then they'll grab it from the table because who knows what'll happen then. I mean, there's all these little things, you know, make sure you look in each other's eyes when you when you cheers, it's fecata, and you have these things. And it is kind of funny, these little superstitions you do see when you're here. And you'll see sometimes people will almost walk or like separate around a, a pole, and like, oh no, and they'll come back around. So there are all these little superstitious things that are kind of funny, but it does shock tourists when they go, man, there's a lot of these little funny things here. And there are a lot of these little superstitious fun things. Now, the third thing that's gonna shock you when you come here is the drinking. Now, I will say about the drinking here is the beer, Alus, is very good here. Dectina, the vodka, is also very good here. And don't be surprised if somebody looks you in the eye and says, with a shot glass, says, Isfekata, and they take a shot, you're up next, okay? You can't say no. And for tourists, sometimes it's a bit shocking. They're like, wow, do they drink a lot or a little, or how is it? The numbers say they drink a lot. I don't think the numbers are quite right, but who knows how it is. But you'll be shocked as how many options for the drinkings there are. And the kind of things that goes with that shockiness is some of the laws that are in place, like you can't buy alcohol, you know, at the store in the evening, you know, like eight or 10 o'clock at night after that, you can't do that. Um, you can't drink in the parks and stuff like that. So some tours are thinking, oh, I'm gonna go and be able to drink on the park and enjoy my view here? Nope. Shockingly, you can't do that when you're here. The fourth thing that might shock you when you come here is, remember that hill of crosses where we started off at? Yes, that hill of crosses is one of those crazy things you're going to see here and that might shock you as well. It's like 200,000 crosses there. That's pretty amazing. You get this like really cool feeling when you're going through, but you'll be shocked that it's not just the hill of crosses. There's other really cool wooden things to check out here. If you go to the hill of witches in, in on the Corinthian split, spit, and they'll have, you know, carved devils and the gates to hell and witches and stuff like that. You have this really cool woodworking culture and, and history here that's really cool. But what really shocks the tourists is, wow, that really is a hill with uh, like a couple hundred thousand crosses on it. Yes, it is pretty shocking that way. And then the last one we'll do here at Turkai, the fifth one uh, shock we have before we move off to show you some more of this beautiful country is the beaches. Yes, there are fantastic beaches here in Lithuania. What? Fantastic beaches? Former Soviet Union? Eastern Europe? That doesn't make sense. It should be ice all year round. Obviously, ice all year round, right? Look. 
there's great nature like I, you know and i'll talk about that later with the lakes but for me what was shocking is how nice the beaches were in smiltine and on the coronian split uh coronian coronian split i can never say it right the coronian spit outside of Klaipeda, you'll go there by nida or yudukranta and you'll go to the other side going out to the baltic sea and the sand there is pristine you'll love it and you can have a great time with the beaches there go to palanga the spa town that's just a little bit north of Klaipeda. great beaches there as well and most people don't think about sand dunes and beaches when they think of lithuania and eastern europe but shockingly you will and when you come here in the summertime you will really love it but i will say you might be shocked um if you go and you see some um ladies built like me very strong Cypruskate Meshka strong like a bear that might be going all natural sometimes I know when I was going out in March and running on the beach when I lived here when I was going by and I'm like it's March it's cold and there's the babushkas the grandmas they're out there ah getting ready for the summer so that was kind of shocking in a fun way I mean I it's been burned into my mind so I'll just let you know that anyway let's go check another beautiful part of Lithuania to finish this off now the sixth thing that's going to shock you to come to Lithuania is how much nature there is here and how much nature you're going to get into when you do come because yes you're going to go to the Coronian spit and you're going to see the sand dunes the dead dunes that are moving along and and go see the beautiful beaches like in Palanga or in Smiltine or along the the spit I mean it is beautiful or you're going to go into the lakes you know Platale you can go there and the lakes there or going to Durskrinke with the spas I mean there's all this nature you can get to yes the bugs that go along with that nature can be a bit crazy like like <coughs> insane crazy big mosquitoes but it is really beautiful and that kind of leads into the seventh thing that's going to shock you when you come here is how into nature that lithuanians are look they have their you know dachkas or their, their summer houses out there where they're going to go and they're going to have their gardens and stuff like that i know i spent a a, a christmas in dituva this little you know village town outside of klaipeda and we had our 12 dishes natural dishes for christmas and and we drank the homemade vodka and stuff like that but the people really love nature too and they go to the lakes and you'll see that most of the tourists you're going to see here in Lithuania are other Lithuanians going around and they really love their country and I'll talk about that later but it really comes down to how much they love the nature and natural stuff and that's why the seventh thing also continues on with how much Lithuanians love nature and natural foods and you will see that here the foods you're gonna have very few preservatives very few things and if you're drinking something that's a weird color don't be surprised if your Lithuanian friend goes dude why are you drinking that man look what's on the back of that why would you have that have some arbatos have some tea have have something like that that's healthier that's more natural and they really love their natural stuff here I remember when I lived here even McDonald's had a, they had commercials saying yes it's 100% beef it's you know made from real Lithuanian potatoes the french fries because Lithuanians are very much into that and it gets kind of shocking because you think wait they're really into nature yes the, yeah I mean there's you don't see like organic things like that but people really are into nature and natural foods here so heads up on that one and now we're here in Klaipeda on the coast and the eighth thing that's going to shock you when you come here to Lithuania is realizing it's not just a former Soviet Republic yes you will see the Soviet housing and stuff like that the big block houses and yes there's a Cold War Museum you know that you can go see actually kind of by Klaipeda you can go see an old you know Soviet missile silo but man they have thrown off those chains they have really redone the cities and the towns you see them continuing to work to beautify the riversides and stuff like that and when you go around you're going to see some really beautiful places going across the bay here across the lagoon to Smiltine and the Korean split spit and you'll see the the dunes and stuff like that going to Druskininke and going to the spas that are there walking through Vilnius's old town I mean come on it's a UNESCO world heritage site seeing the <laughs> The, the cathedral square and the cathedral with the tower and get a Minas Hill and the, that thing's there and you walk around and you see so much here the hill of crosses there's so many amazing things to check out and the people here they're very much business minded but they're very proud of their, their their country and you can see that in here and you don't get this oh it's just a Soviet bloc kind of thing and there's nothing to see here no you'll be surprised how much there is to see and do here and enjoy with the people so definitely do come here and check that out and that kind of leads into the ninth thing that shocks people when they come here is the independent spirit of Lithuania I mean Lithuanians love Lithuania you know people make fun of the US all the time saying oh you guys fly your flag all the time well Lithuania 
we're right there with you guys because they fly their flag all the time too because they're very proud. They're the first of the Baltics that declared independence. They're the first one said, no, we're going out on their own. And you really see that with the people because they love Lithuania. And you're going to see nice little tiny museums, even in small towns of the history of the cities or ethnographic museums talking about the folklore and stuff like that. You know, you can go down and see, there's museums on the, the wind chimes, not the wind chimes, but the, the, the weather vanes and stuff like that. In Nita, you see that and the people are so proud of their country that they want to share it with you so if you're not sure what you should eat where you should go where you should stay what you should do just ask a local because a lot of the young people and when I say young I'm talking 40 and under speak English very well and they'll help you out and they'll say dude you know the Zeppelina here is good but go eat the Zeppelina here the Shashlika here is the best so eat the Shashlika and come back for here for the Vashke they'll tell you these things and it's that pride you see and you'll go around you're like wow I mean the place is cleaned up they take care of it and they have these things and that's one thing I love about it is that pride they have in their country and they should because there's so much beauty to see which hopefully I've shown in this video some of the places you can go and stuff and it is beautiful. And probably the 10th thing that shocks the people when they come here is how gorgeous and how made up the women are here in Lithuania. I mean, Lithuania has some of the most beautiful women out there. And the thing is, when you see them, it's like they're almost competing against each other to who can look the prettiest, who can have the nicest hair, who can have the best outfits and stuff like that. And it is amazing in terms of how beautiful the women are. And the guys, well, well they're, they're getting better, but they're not as much competition, I guess. And that's when you're here, you also see a lot of women because there's a lot, there's a higher percentage of women in Lithuania than men. So you will notice that as well. So that's one thing that I know some travelers are like, wow, there's so many gorgeous women here, but there's so many women here. There are because a lot of the guys have left or for other reasons that does happen. But anyway, that's kind of a, a fun number 10 for you. So I hope you like your 10 shocks of visiting Lithuania. If you want to learn more, maybe some tips on visiting Klaipeda or Vilnius, things you don't do when you come to Lithuania, what you should eat when you're here, like Zeppeline and Spiraguche and all that good stuff. Check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions. And if you do like videos like this and you click subscribe, we put out a new travel video Video every Wednesday and Saturday so you do have that anyway we'll say icky from here in Lithuania bye